After nine months of construction, Rhodes Skate Park will soon be reopened to those skaters. Our Morgan Wagner got a sneak peek of the renovated park. She has the story. She's live in Boise. You may have noticed some skaters in here already, even though the area is under construction. These aren't kids breaking in most of the time. They're actually the workers themselves. And they say right now, if their paintbrushes aren't rolling, it's because their wheels are. Would probably be doing this as a hobby if I wasn't doing it for my profession. Coming to work and loving it every day. Every time I come to work, I just look at it and just smile. It's just so cool. It's their dream job, traveling around the U.S., building skate parks. We all met as uh, friends skateboarding around the country and was working for another company building parks and so were the buddies I had met and we just kind of converged when we ended up with our first job, not expecting it to last long and it just grew from there. With more than 100 skate parks now built under their belt, Grindline, which is based out of Seattle, started renovating Road Skate Park in July. It's the second largest park that Dave Palmer's overseen in the last 18 years. It's over an acre. I think it's nearly two acres. So uh, we were able to fit absolutely everything we could possibly think of in here. Palmer says each park Grindline constructs is unique. For Road Skate Park, they designed a ramp in the shape of Idaho. They also added multicolored changing lights to the bridge's pillars to enhance the overpass's looming presence. Other than picking up the extra materials and letting the paint dry, workers say Road Skate Park is pretty much done. City officials were doing a walkthrough earlier today, and they tell me the park could be open by the end of this month. Live in Boise, Morgan Wagner, KBOI 2 News.